Welcome to episode 45? 45, 45 of our Football Manager Robot Hero playthrough. Yeah, off to a great start. So, uh, I didn't plan anything for today, other than doing the next match, which is facing Selangor in the PLM Malaysia first round, first leg this time. Apparently we play away from home, and it's on Wednesday, which means we have a slight problem with recovery, I would argue. Yeah, most likely. So... We're gonna include some additional recovery session here, and uh, most likely the squad will be annoyed by too many recovery sessions, who knows. We'll see. Maybe also one here. <laughs> and uh, then probably again over here. There's a re There's rest sessions in here. This this cannot be right. That's That's unlike me. I don't like it. Yeah, so um, that's that's a good setting for today. Um, also, we should probably have a look at what happened last time. So, just that you know, in case you didn't watch it, we lost to Bahang. We took the lead, and afterwards it went straight downhill from there. So, yeah, that's not good. Still 8th in the league, uh, 21 points. That said, Perak, for some weird reason, managed to win their uh, match. Facing whoever they faced. Selangor! This is our next opponent, so uh, yeah, maybe that's good for us. On the other hand, if you look at this, Selangor are in second place right now, so I guess that won't, this won't go well in the cup. Also, morale in the squad is horrible. Um, well, not horrible yet, but looking at this, we won this match and uh, the rest of it is shit. More or less, two draws. So, either we start winning a match pretty soon, or we will have a hard relegation scrap that might not go in our favor. Not making any promises just yet. So, first of all, we'll deal with feedback to the players, I guess. Um, overall. So, let's talk to them. Alright. Um, he had a good start, and then it uh, went straight downhill from there. So, we'll tell him his goalkeeping was not good enough. And I think that's totally fair, given that he conceded five. Uh, so, he could at least save one more. Also, training ratings fine. No problem there. Good job, sir. We can also praise your conduct, but, well, I, apparently we did that recently, so no use talking to him anymore. Um, I want to put an emphasis on one thing, or not. He didn't increase his throwing, so that, that might have been far previously, I'm not sure. Um, it went up a little bit. I'll stick with the individual training there. Next, Christopher didn't play. Doesn't train well. We will criticize his training rating. All right. So, no use talking about his form. Conduct, sure, that's fine. Yeah. And that's it. Elbook Chuck still. He had the best chance of the last match, I think. It was only one. So, in the end, this wasn't good enough. But he should have taken that shot. He smashed it against the against the upright, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, overall, I think the lack of chances created is the biggest concern here. Uh, yeah. Recent form is lackluster. So we cannot criticize the conduct. We cannot praise the conduct. Well, we can't criticize it, it's just useless. Form and development. Meh. The development overall, if I look at this. We could criticize it, but he's 25, so... Not sure about that. 
I think we'll try. Yeah, okay, he agrees. Um, the training rating overall is good, but maybe it's not a bad idea to criticize him from time to time here. But Krula's training rating is better. Trains well. He did come on. He didn't play well, though. That was... Well, the downhill, the downhill trip was already... Uh, He, he uh, the, that uh, thing had already uh, caught some momentum at that point, so um, it didn't do anything to get rid of the goals conceded there. So in the end, I, I think, well, we cannot really praise him for the last match. I'll criticize this. Not good enough, this doesn't work that way. 6.6 uh, .6 rating overall is also really bad. So I'll definitely criticize this. All right, that's better. Which means we should play carrier, by the way. Or Safri, if we're really adventurous about this. 11 hour 14 passes for Hammer. Well, one chance created, 6.5 rating. That's not good. So we'll criticize the lack of chances created, I think. Look at that morale. He's probably one of those that didn't approve of me throwing the water bottle in the dressing room after the last match. I think it was 100% warranted. Trading ratings fine. Form 7.04. Mm. I'd rather not comment on that. Well, on the overall development. Barely any. I mean, in football manager terms, I think this is bad development, so let's try. Yeah, performances could have been better, you're correct. So at least it, it was a neutral statement. RC trains well. I think his development was negative recently. Where is it? Never mind. I, I confused him with somebody else. Oh, uh, was Mazarin for some reason. Same wing, but uh, yeah, very different player. So Harsi's training rating is fine, and he made an appearance as a sub. Came on, three passes completed, two chances created. I mean, I I guess he could have contributed a little bit more, but his last match was fine. I should have played him from the start, maybe. I don't know. Um, I, I think we, we had a... There was a good balance in the last match. Just at, at the point Harsey came on, it, it was lost anyway. Um, I think I'll go with the passing. That works well. And that's a good sign for me. Um, I don't want Harsey to play more. He's our player after all. So, looking at this, this is not impressive by any stretch of the imagination, but it's something. Jeffrey. Uh, Jeffrey trains well. Jeffrey's still very susceptible to injury, so uh, not a permanent signing. And his defensive performance last time out was shitty. Let's be honest. Okay. Apparently he doesn't like being criticized for now. Form 6.84. Could be worse, right? Let's ignore that. Conduct is just fine. Right. Carrier, 6.4 rating last time out. Off to a great start. But Krula's not much better. So we might as well play him next time. I will definitely criticize this. We conceded five goals. Yeah. Well done. I will praise the conduct, despite the yellow card, whatever. Might help. 
There's decent commitment and training. There is some development after all. I wouldn't say this is impressive, but it's still better than most of our other players, so I guess that's a positive. Uh, well, and uh, form overall, where is it? 6.76. I think I will try criticize the recent form. I will tell him he needs to be better for the first team. Okay. That's all right. Mazarin. Mazarin's uh, development is negative. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Probably reached the end of his current potential at least. He is 23 now. He also pulled a hamstring, so... Yeah. Great. Uh, apparently he was injured, so he didn't play. No use talking to him. I guess, no. The injury is not long-term. No, doesn't matter. What else? McManamy. That's a positive, but not positive enough. Did he play? He did play for approximately 30 minutes. And he didn't create any chances, so we'll tell him. That's an easy one. Conduct is also an easy one. That would be would have been fine. Passing is not easy. Uh, I, I think 24 out of 28 is that's not good enough. Um, and there's nothing else to comment on. No development, no training, so I'd rather not. Aris. Well, he's the decline. He's 35. He didn't play. Eh. No form to speak of. I mean, I guess I could play him, but uh, I'd rather not. Mochalil came back from injury recently. Training rating could be better. 6.5. Mm. All right. He doesn't like targets anyway. I think um, in, in hindsight, his character is way worse than character of the others. Or maybe it's the age. I don't know. He doesn't perform well in matches. Or rarely. 6.7 rating overall. If we had some development, at least. But if you look at this, well, either he has adaptability one, and it will take another five years for him to adapt to the club, or his performance, uh, his his overall um, personality is just bad. That said, it can't be. He's considered to be consistent, and he relishes big matches. He's fairly determined, well, and media friendly. So I don't know. I really don't know. Um, he will probably be in the goal next match, though. Considering, uh, will also criticize his development or not. But considering the last match by our uh, Chinese backup goalkeeper, I think we'll give Mochelli a chance, and we can even praise his conduct. No yellow cards. Uh, that's fine. Six point eight. Played for the entire match, and apparently he's also very happy given that he plays as an attacking midfielder these days. I mean, six shots, one on target. He wasted a ton of chances. I do not think we can comment on that though. Created two chances. I'd I'd love to praise him for something. We'll try criticism here. No. There's no wasting chances here. There's no tackles made, so no way. Let's not do this. And praise the last game. 40 out of 51 is not good. Two chances created is not fantastic, but it's okay. Uh, I mean, he got into positions that were somewhat threatening, so I guess we'll leave it at that. Rusty. Yeah. N yeah, big nah. That's not good enough. Also, he doesn't care, it seems. This is horrible, man. And Mazarin's not available, so... 
Yeah. I will praise the two out of two tackles, though, sir. Yeah. All right. Rusty. Passing's fine. The rest is not. Same here. He had one interception and uh, one out of two tackles. I think we can probably agree that this is not a good defensive performance. It does not matter. He's not considered to be a defensive player. Well, in that case, you're a midfielder, man. Then uh, we go about it as with a playmaker or something. Zakaria, mm, uh, well, that one tackle was okay. But otherwise... Same here, I feel like we'll go with the criticism of whatever happened there. Criticism of chances created. That's an easy one. Also the form. No target to be set here. I just don't want to. Mm. Tackles two, uh, one out of one. I mean, I will not criticize his development. His development is okay. Samri had the assist last match. And afterwards it went straight downhill. So, I don't know. We'll criticize this. No, we'll not criticize this. I'm confused. We'll praise him for the, for the tackling, I think. That's the easiest one here. Yeah, no, probably the conduct, given that he doesn't have a single yellow card. Overall, I think our conduct is pretty okay. I, mean, I should have a look at that later. I will probably forget, so you can remind me. I don't know. If you watch this later in the comments down below, please. That's... I mean, I guess he scored. We'll praise the gold scoring. Well done, sir. You also didn't create any chances whatsoever. Yep. I agree. As a moon in play. But Rol Hisham did. That's that's not true. I mean I guess we can praise the ta one tackle. Same as always, it's fine. And the rest I'd rather not touch. Form's horrible. Baru. I had high hopes for him at some point. Not in the last match though. Overall form 6.68 is also bad. He will work hard to improve, he says, well, in that case. And then we're through. All right, so what do we make of this? Well, first of all, the really bad morale has been somewhat dampened what's the expectation of the cup we should be competitive okay being competitive means not conceding too much because well we will face number two now away from home so i think i'll do something a bit weird I think it, uh, an argument can be made that we should go with something like this. We didn't use it for a while. 
Low block. Try to score on the counter. I think that might work. And um, so I'm thinking this is a more aggressive, defensive minded uh, kind of play. It's more of a gegen press setup, if you want to put it that way. Um, despite uh, the defensive mentality, um, this is this is still some sort of gegen press, uh, well, thing. So let's have a look at, look at the league again. This is a strategic uh, decision. We have eight points. A difference of eight points. It might go really bad, but we gotta stop conceding first and foremost. So I'm gonna do something weird. I'm gonna go very defensive here. Use this as a primary train tactic because we will use it next match away from home. I don't care about the cup game. I just want it to be done and not to concede um, if I can help it. So there's that. I want to rename this. We'll use this and we will call it positive high press. This is defensive high press. Cool. And we will call this defensive low block. I should probably call the others high block it too, but whatever. Um yeah, that's just, that's just wrong. Was it called in here? I'm confused. Higher defensive line, it doesn't really say. Okay, we'll call this a block. Alright, it might be wrong, but whatever. I'll roll with it. We'll call it a block now. Because uh, we blocked the opponent from uh, getting towards goal. Whatever. So, this is our primarily trained tactic. Is there somebody that can do attacking midfielder? Center attacking midfielder. Sure, Nazarudin. Oh. Um. Well, Rusty maybe? We could use the 18 year old. You know what? It's a cup game. Whatever. We'll use him. CM on attack for now. And Carlos da Costa Lima will probably not make an appearance, but he might show up on the bench or something. He'll be fine. No problem whatsoever, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, anything else? I think we could probably have a team meeting, so we're not expected to win this next match. That's for sure. Performance, match performance. We are... That's great. Oh. So everybody expects certain defeat. As a result, we're gonna ease the pressure and that's it. In case they wanna have a team meeting. Right, 
Well, we have not been in good form. I think we'll encourage them. They might need it. Okay. So that went well. Morale did go up throughout the entirety of the squad. We needed it. And now we will try to travel towards Selangor. Towards, uh, to Selangor. I guess this is a city. I don't know. Is it? Uh, Pitaling Jaya, so no, it is not a city. Selangor is just a club. Alright, so we will travel um, <laughs> visiting Selangor FC and uh, we will shut up shop. Mm, I will let this process and we'll have a minor ad break along the way and then uh, we'll see what will happen going forward. Yeah. So that's the match momentum. I think you can clearly see here that <laughs> we were under extended amounts of pressure. That said, it it was better and we were really unlucky. Or you could also argue our goalkeeper didn't do his job. Um. I don't want to look too much into this. The opponent had a ton of passes. We didn't. They had much more possession. That said, their skill level was way higher, higher than ours. I can somewhat live with that. Our expected goals rating is still somewhat fine. Shooting has been average. Yeah, true. It's not great, but there's something else. Um, I think I had a look at this recently. Nope. Holy shit. Um... What? No. Go away. Um, I want to have a look into... Where's the data hub here? If we look at last match, well, we've been here. So this is the report we just received. There's also others that... But um, I think we should probably look at this. And it says we have a lot of touches, but uh, barely score goals. That has to do with the defensive setup and working the ball into the box. But it might have been prior to this. I think our our slow passing doesn't work. Tempo is slightly higher here. I think we'll continue with the slightly higher tempo in most of these formations. Well, basically in all of them. I want to see that. After passing, I'm not so sure. That's That's probably too early to do it now. No, too late. It's too late to do it now, given that we will face Selangor pretty soon. On the other hand, we have a target forward on a pitch. But you know what? I want to try this. I really want to. We'll see how it goes. So, mix things up a little bit. Maybe it has an impact.
All right, Sinangorg play a gegen crest style. Uh, yeah. Great. Look at that. Selangor is in red, by the way. <laughs> so... <laughs> Perak, for some reason, accidentally, were really, really lucky. This is an unlikely result, I think. Play a lot of passes and, yeah, well... If you are in possession and everybody else uh, tries to shut you down, then obviously you will play more passes. Carrier picked up an automatic ban, so he will not play next match. That's how it works. No, this is a cup. He'll be fine. He will not play facing Tering Gangu. Tering. No, it's Tering Gangu. This one turned 17. I like the personality, and then uh, I don't know. Well, he's not a defender, that's for sure. I mean, his tackling is fine, positioning is okay ish, decision making is okay. But he has no strength whatsoever. He's also also one meter sixty nine, so I don't think he'll be a defender anytime soon. Yeah, we had a look at that. We don't need to have a look at this. And uh, neither do we need to have a look at this. It's all good. Oh. Thank you very much. I had a look at it already. I... Don't know what to do other than uh, try to defend as well as possible. I don't like this either. I'd really want to have a player in this squad that has good personality. Or two. Or five. And this all... Where do these come from, anyway? Lighthearted goalkeeper. Ah, oh, it could be worse. Tell me you're level-headed. Unflappable and media-friendly. That's not horrible, either. There's a former player of ours that we sold. Hi! Welcome to the stream, sir. Well, I guess or met him, theoretically speaking, but this is a football manager stream, so... You know... I... I will assume... Oh, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? What brings you to the stream? You probably picked the rock bottom one with no <laughs> viewers. That uh, is nice to hear. Yeah, I I see. Um, so let me know if you're interested in anything in particular. I'm happy to go on about what happens here, um, or this or that, in case you have question. Um, Germany, Nuremberg, to be more precise, in Bavaria. Well. According to the locals, it's not Bavaria, it's Franconia, but whatever, it's Germany. You can probably hear by the dialect. 
I tried to lose it, but you know, <laughs> that's stuck for life, I guess. We will, we will not stand a chance here. I don't know how to deal with this. So, in case any of you have any idea, well, you know, there's other people on the stream from time to time that are from Germany too. Um, just so you're aware, all of the stuff um will end up on YouTube at some point. So, um, you know, don't state anything you do not want to be public on a permanent basis. But um, otherwise, if you're willing to share, feel free to share where you're from. Thanks. Much appreciated. That's from all the consumption of uh, too much critical role and, uh, I don't know, bad TV series, I guess. Also might have, it might have to do with the occupation from time to time. If you if you consume all of your stuff in English at some point, it, it kind of becomes a natural thing. You lose uh, <laughs> some traction within the uh, the German language, though, in comparison. So uh, I don't know. So uh, I, in case you're willing to share, otherwise feel free to tell me you're not willing to. Um, where are you from? Um, I'm from well, originally, um, given that I'm from Stuttgart, um, and I migrated to Bavaria, if you want to put it that way. Uh, first Würzburg and uh, from Ruhrgebiet. Okay, please tell me you're a Schalke fan. Please, please. That would be so fantastic. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Bochum would be fine too. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Seriously? This is perfect, I love it. Ah, great. So, um... I should probably tell you to make an acquaintance. There, there is this person that follows this stream by the nick of Mies, and he's a Dortmund fan. So I think you two should be, you should get acquainted. Ah, oh, you did. Okay. Well, in that case, <laughs> still love it though. So, uh, yeah, you're extra welcome to the stream in that case, Rumpel Goat. Um, just for comedic value, I guess. But I didn't answer your question. Um, so given that I'm, I was born and raised in Stuttgart, most of the time anyway, um, I think there's some affiliation with that, with the VfB Stuttgart. I, I watch their games and, um, well, uh, let's say it's easier on the, uh, on the eye recently, but I did also watch it um, back when it wasn't that easy to, to be a, a supporter of Stuttgart. So that's a thing. And otherwise, I'm somewhat a supporter of, uh, I guess everybody loves an underdog, so definitely not Bayern Munich. Um, well, um, I, I think I love good management in general, but that's really hard to determine. And given that I tend to start out rock bottom, um, uh, this is stuff like, I don't know, Heidenheim, Sandhausen, and so on and so forth. But... Uh, not not sure how I would phrase that. Also, I barely watch anything else. Like, I'm vaguely familiar with what happens in the Premier League sometimes. But most of the time, I have no idea. So, yeah. It's kind of a boring answer, I think. But it's what it is. Alright, who plays? No idea. Apparently, Zakaria does. Great. Yeah, I hope it makes sense. Zakaria, Jeffrey, and Nazarudin. Nazarudin will be on the bench in that case. Uh, 
I don't know. Given their last two matches, probably lose. I'm not even sure who whom they play. Let's have a look. Oh, they play Leipzig at home. Saturday, 15.30. Yep. So I guess losing is entirely within the realm of possibilities. On the other hand, if you lose to Bochum, I guess, uh, well, you know? I will not go on with that passing style in that case. That's better. That, well, I, I don't own a TV, so... Make of that what you will. It's probably not very shocking <laughs> that I don't own a TV, is it? No, oh, not bad. We'll play Ankunda. Okay, um, so I said Jeffrey, and given that, well, I guess we can still play Carrier. I just want to, to be honest. He also trains well, so we'll, we'll go with that. On the wing, but... So it's not like we have a choice on the left. And neither do we on the right, do we? Four days until Mazarin's ready to play again. In theory, we could play him. In fact, we'll play Nizam. Or Bardul Hisham. For this match, at least. Well, uh, training rating's fine on both. Uh. Yeah, sure. Well, if I continue. How do I put this? If you convince me to continue until tomorrow, and hopefully my employer will uh, will not rate this as a uh, bad conduct. Um, no, to be to be frank, I think this match will probably be hard. And then Teringanu, who are leaders in the league right now, so that'll be hard too. Then Selangor again, Keda are sixth, so I imagine a draw is possible. The friendly against Saravak, strictly speaking, that might be a win. Chor Chorhor DT is easy. Selangor again is also easy, and then we face Perak. If, like, I would argue at this point, if we didn't get a point here and there, for some reason, we will probably fight against relegation really, really hard. If we're not rock bottom. So, as a result... Either we get lucky at some point, and you see your win, or, um, well, we, we might not see one <laughs> throughout the end of the season, <laughs> given that schedule. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think so too, but uh, there, there might be, uh, this, the, the cup competition might finish uh, back here, or I don't know. Um, I'm not sure why they do it this way. Malaysia is Malaysia. I'm not aware. He's somewhat short of fitness. Great, you gotta be kidding me. So I guess... Now we'll play him anyway. Sure, sure. He's our star striker after all. So, um... Rumsfeld Gold, you're interested. Uh, are you interested in any player in particular or something? Well, should 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 I give you a wrap up of um, maybe the squad or the overall situation? You interested in any of that? Baru. Shall we play Baru? I'm not sure. We'll rotate. We will. We will rotate and we will play those that uh, deserve it by having a contract with the club, if we can. Uh, 
the free though, that's a hard one. Okay, the safe in general. So um this safe, as you can see by the title, um is a safe where we started unemployed. Um as a dead as hobo on the street. Um and we managed to find a job, to land a job, I might say, in Malaysia. In the second, well, the second league, which is for weird circumstances called Liga M3. Um, and this club is Sarawak United FC. So uh, they took us in and uh, now we have employment, we have some food. We also got them promoted for, to the first league for some weird reason, but... Uh, we are entirely unqualified to be here. There is no economic basis for it other than a 40k old seater that is entirely deserted. It is uh, financed by the, by the state, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, inviting clubs for friendlies is basically a zero sum game, game more or less. Um, we can barely afford a squad, as you can see by the bunch of loan players here. I think like 50% of our players are loan players. And, um, well, the quality of the squad is lackluster too. So, in case you do not like saves with difficult circumstances, this is probably not the one for you. In case you are a sadist, this is probably the one for you, because you will see me suffer most of the time. Also, I'm vaguely aware of uh, <laughs> footballing tactics in general, um, but not to a great extent, so I'm always open to suggestions there. And, uh, yeah. Did I forget anything, Mies? I tend to swear from time to time. That's that's a sign of my bad character. I I, I certainly forgot something. I don't know. Let others judge how, to the characteristics of the safe or, well, my character. Um, I, I tend to play a very slow game. That's probably, um worth noting so if you're one for um like i want to see this match in the next 10 minutes then uh, this is probably also not a stream for you i tend to be very i would say elaborate but th th this sounds too positive um i, I don't want to be um i don't know too too positive about myself if that makes sense um it's just the way i do things um I tend to reflect on stuff and then uh, I'm going full circle from time to time. So um, that's a thing. On the other hand, if that's something that sounds like you might like it, because you might contribute with a discussion and stuff, and uh, well, maybe some hate on Borussia Dortmund, you're entirely invited to do that. That's just fine. Hate is a strong word. Pro probably no hate. We have enough hate in Europe already. But you know what I'm going for. So, I hope that helps. And uh, as always, feel free to comment. There's also, um, just not to forget this, there's like five or six hundred hours of uh, all of these streams on YouTube. Um, nobody watches that, so um, you're invited <laughs> to be the first, I guess. Um, that that's not entirely true. There, there's the odd madman that uh, watches one or two hours uh, each day. Um, in general, and uh, there's a Discord um, for uh, well, I guess our gaming community, if you want to put it that way, um, that contains comments about the safe. So um, I don't know if in the middle of the night somebody wakes up at some point and says, "Well, Chris is a stupid idiot. He should do it this way." The Discord is where you put it. There's a channel with suggestion for it, more or less. And also, uh, obviously, we talk about other football manager-related stuff there. Did I forget anything in the wrap-up now? That's probably way too elaborate already. But then again, it's a reflection of my personality, I think. Yeah. I hope that works. Alright, so we'll bring along Fakrula, I think. A freeze, Deadwood. Uh... McManamy is a playmaker-ish type, so Rusty doesn't make sense. Nazarudin, if first comes to it, can play on the left. So we can bring on for the right on a striker. So we leave these two at home. That's not fair, is it? 
Nah, we won't do that. We'll bring Samri. Yeah, if worst comes to it, somebody else will need to do second striker. He will not be replaced anyway. It'll be fine. Okay, we play an ultra low block very defensively because, well, we suspect this will not go well. Also, passing's a little more direct, and we just increase tempo. The score on the counter. Go oh, attacking. I won't. I don't think so. Maybe, just, I don't know if I want to go with this. Big short kicks? Pff, don't care. Go attacking, he says. Well, first of all, no. But second of all, I think um, there's an argument to be made for... Let's have a look at the central defenders. Well, never mind. There's an argument to be made for um, for um, faster transition. And, um, well, I, I would call it counter-attacking, I guess. We'll get this. I don't know what to do about this. Also, the go by the way, um, just as a minor notion here, um, run full gold. So, um, if you're not aware, the quality of players in Malaysia and overall is like rock bottom. This is this is the, a level somewhere below Wales most of the time. So, just make sure you do not expect any quality. I'm really good at selling the save, right? Okay. This guy is bad. He's also from Spain for some reason. Don't know how they get him here. Uh, so, low dribbling, low first touch, low bravery, low strength. This is a hard tackle and we trigger the press on him because apparently he wants to lose the ball again. Passing and vision are somewhat fine. I guess we could mark, try to mark him out of the game, but uh, there's other people here. Oh, 17 year old in the... What's going on here? Well, other issues with him, but we should probably mark him out of the game. The other one has the better passing. Oh, that's weird. But same here, bad first touch, bad dribbling. Also bad off the ball movement. I don't know. We could try to close them down both. At some point. What happened here? They play a bunch of 16 year olds and some really good players. And this is a weird combination. They, I think they rotate heavily. I don't know. Alright. Rosley. Passing's bad. Uh, we do not need to mark him tightly, at least. This guy on the other hand is really dangerous. I'm not sure what to do about him. God, dear. He runs with the ball through center. Hmm. Morale's really bad. Dribbling is high. So this is dangerous. Gotta be careful with the tackle on him, I think. He's also... This is weird. He's really strong, also fast, but he can't jump. Reminds me of somebody. Don't know what to do about him. Neither do I know what to do about him. Same here, runs with the ball through center. We're just hoping that we can shut them down, I think. And then we're back at square one, yeah. Don't know anything about him. You know what, we'll go to the match. 
That's it. Sure. Some are like in sharpness. Okay. You startled me. Welcome back to the stream, sir. Also, good morning, I think, um, in, in the United States or whatever time it is over there. <laughs> the fact that I know from the sticker that you appeared. Hmm. Well, uh... Okay. So, you only missed, like, an hour, though. Also, the sticker is appropriate. Just want to put that out there. This is perfectly fine. This is exactly what will happen pretty soon. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we're going for revenge, don't we? Here we go. This won't go well. First match. Uh, first leg of the cup match. So, depending on your, you know, perspective, it might be... Either this is useless and we do not care about this, it's a cup match after all, and all everything that goes uh, on here is a bonus. Or it's like, this is the only reason we... No. This is the only chance that we have any success within this season, and the cup is a really small competition, so... Go for it, this is the most important part. That said, we play Selangor, so... um, The... The... I, I, the, the fairy? That um, blesses the draw. I don't know how to phrase this. Um, it obviously was on our side, given that we will face Selangor twice. They are um, second in the league right now. And uh, we, we, no, actually, we will face them three times. We will play them in the league afterwards. So, yeah. Jack shit. Nothing. Don't you worry, there will be money if we win the cup. If we win it. Otherwise, it's just like, they bring along 20 spectators to the stadium. That's it. So, yeah. Great circumstances. I should probably talk to everyone here. And uh, sorry for, for being so negative. Um, so, we are, I also changed the tactic a little bit. Um, me set to go attacking, so obviously I did the opposite. Um, I did go, well, to be fair, I did it prior to that. Um, I will do very defensive, a low block, and um, I'll try to go with more direct passing towards Elbok Chuck Stell and then pray. That also sounds like a decent concept for the remainder of the season to me. Oh. Also, there will be an automatic ad break in like one minute, so might as well do it now. Sorry, there be. So first of all, if the girlfriend's imaginary, it cannot leave you. You know? They they tend to stick with you. That or uh, you imagine three others. No, that doesn't make sense to me. Second of all, if your imaginary girlfriend leaves you, so here's here's a black let, let's start a match by the way. Um <laughs> here's a lesson to be learned. Um if the imaginary girlfriend leaves you, you might want to go on the offense. If you don't want to be alone for the remainder of your lifetime. So... I'd rather go attacking in that case. Also, I found a sausage. It's a German thing to do. For 
30 seconds already. We'll be fine. Oh, I play... Uh, we, we play a map, by the way. This is the youngster, the lighthearted one where we brought in for the under-21s. Great. Inviting pressure already. Fantastic. Th this might be a bad idea. Hmm. On... Could you, could you rephrase on top of, like, on the dishes on top of, or in addition to? I'm just not sure if I understand the question correctly. I mean, we weed crowd from time to time, but not to the extent that an American might think. It's just, like, it's, it's, it's an option here as a serving. But not for everything, it, it's it's specifically paired with, I don't know, sausages or whatever. It's not like we, like we eat crowd all the time. Hmm. Hmm. To, to my knowledge, no. It's, it's served besides the sausages. And also, more often than not, there's other stuff alongside it, I don't know. Mashed potatoes or something. Uh, that's probably me butcher in German uh, cuisine kitchen. Um, may maybe Mies knows something about it. It might be different in the report after all. Let's hope Mochalil makes it through the game. Who knows? Alright. Well, I... <laughs> there's, there's something, I think it's called Blaue Zipfel um, in German. I think that might be um, Kraut plus... Uh, is it... Ground beef or something? No, no, blow it simple with sausages. I, I'm confused. But um, anyway, you can combine crowd with, for example, ground beef. Um, and that's uh, mixed together. So, also not on top of each other, but, you know, all mashed together. I'm, like, I'm really the wrong person to talk about food, though. We, we, we had a chance, by the way. And overall, there's like no chances in this match. And given that this is the away match, I'm fine with it. This is great. Or not. No reaction whatsoever. Did it go through? No penalty. That could have been a penalty. Luckily, that didn't happen. Should I be happy with this? I think I should be. For now. No offside. This could be dangerous. He's a bad jumper. So, did the... Uh no, it didn't. Now it, did. now it did go through. Okay, we got lucky. Do you have any other food recommendations, Turnullet? Don't let him shoot. 14 seconds after the first half should have ended. I don't deserve this. Well, it's not like we, we have a choice. We need to score now. 
Well, we, we don't, but uh, we should. Yeah, and I'm out, lost the ball already. Okay, that's half time. So, I will tell them they were unlucky. There you go. You've been unlucky. Also, most of your performances could be better, so we will tell them. Try to fire them up a little bit. Given that we relax them right now, might as well tell them to improve a little bit. Go! Great! Now we just need to translate all of this positive emotion to a positive performance on the pitch. Sure, like this. No, that's not on. It's all fine. Thirty-three percent possession. Ouch. Well, I expected to get a beating. So for now, they scored once. Could have been twice, given that chance. They push up really high. Like, really, really, really high. As we just saw there. If only we could translate this into anything useful. Headed behind by Rosity. Let's encourage the team again, they need it. Or not. We got lucky. Mochali with the free yeah with the free kick with the goal kick. And another corner. So we could also try to press all of a sudden. Mix it up tactically. Either go positive or remain with the defensive uh, posture. This, like, there will be a second uh, leg to this, right? So, we might as well take the loss back home. But one goal difference is not much. It's entirely within the realm of the expectation that uh, we score an accidental goal later on. That's it. I want to increase the pressure on them all of a sudden. I want to switch. I want to try. And if it doesn't go well, um, well, then you can blame me. So we'll go defensive, push up higher, play Nazarudin all of a sudden. Just seems reasonable so far. Um, Elbow Chuck still is tired, sadly. So. There's something really weird here. We'll take him off. Given that he's tired, he doesn't play well either. Um, we'll put Amat up front. Bring on Nazarudin. Don't tell me I never play youth players. Uh, sure, we'll do... I don't know, pressing forward on support or something. Any jump? No. So... We'll do pressing forward on support, so that he provides for Nasarudin. 
all of this stuff can remain. There's still target man possession is still what we're going for, isn't it? Anyone else that's really tired? Rusty, I will not bring on Mazarin if I don't have to. Uh, Ankun, relaxed and motivated. Well, good luck with that. Summary and Hammer are available. That would imply going through the middle, though, but I guess we can bring on Hammer for Baru. Ah, uh, well, we'll wait until the relaxed and motivated body language goes away. That makes sense. And time wasting the very, very possible. I will put that on frequently. I still think, you know, losing this is not great. But on the other hand, I'd rather not concede another five. So, another rune is the only sub for now. Sorry. Don't have any other ideas. Well done, Harsey. Not well done, Harsey. They do press a lot. Well, no, it's it's not not the pressing, but their their defensive line is really high. How do I counter this? Good save this time. We'll encourage him again. And now the tactics have changed. Minute 61. That's okay. We have 28% possession. Ouch. Nice block. Baru's on the ball. Was on the ball. Minute 70. So we might as well rotate, right? We'll bring on summary. For whatever reason. Armor, cause why not? Make enemy For Ankun. And then we have one sub left. Jeffrey's in danger of losing discipline, so I guess Factual will make an appearance. Let's go with that. Ooh, we have a throw in. Damri, Rosdi again. Cross. Amat. The Yanks are nearly scored. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't a, you know, a high-quality chance, but still, we had a chance. I like it. Frosty Carrier. Low-grade, but something. And now, I will demand more. This will not go well, but we'll try. Come on guys, you gotta do better. 33% possession, well, great. That's... A nice tackle, but sadly we lose possession. <laughs> Any ideas from your side? We could obviously risk it and go attacking, but just a second leg, so I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Second leg's at home, so that might have a positive impact. Hummer's fresh. He's not fast, though. Where does this counter-attack go? Hummer... Oh! That was a good idea! I liked it. 
This is not a good idea, dude. Carrier, McManamy. Didn't lose the ball for now. Fakrula at Zakaria. Well, there is some nice passing going on here, and that's about it. What are you doing? Hi, welcome back to the stream that we do. You you wanna risk it? You serious? There's, there's a second leg to this cup game. Are you sure? Because if we go behind by an additional goal, well then we're done. Might as well happen like this though. Or not. This is the first match of the evening, yes. <laughs> you, know, you know me by now. Okay, balanced, he says. Well, you know, we trained this. So, we'll go deep line forward support for him. That's fine, I can live with that. Um... True, but also we face an opponent that is very much stronger than us, so um, <laughs> we conceded on a long shot. I, I would argue this is, <laughs> this is a positive. <laughs> the Longor FC is uh, second in the league, and this is our cup opponent for two legs, and afterwards we will face him in the league again at some point, so yeah. Not impressive. We will also go down the wings, I just decided. Let's do this. And uh, Elbok Chuckstell is so tired that I had to take him off. Now Ahmad, um, who is a youngster, that knows how to take free kicks by the way, is on the pitch and um, finds out how it is to play as a striker. Thank you. I think the last few times that I played in a, in a more attacking manner it resulted in <laughs> conceding 4 or 5 goals. So I'm not sure if this is the way to go. That's no good. True. On the other hand, I would happily take a draw most of the time. That's well played. Ah, it's offside. Damn it. I'll go positive, okay? You convinced me. That won't help much. Not now. Twenty seconds to play. Well done. That was a good tackle. Nazarunin spreads play again. Hammer with a cross from deep into whatever area that is. Um, we could try to go positive, uh, positive in the second leg at home. I think that makes some sense. So, <laughs> given the performance, I would argue we can be somewhat happy. It's a very worrying performance according to expected goals. On the other hand, 
They had one goal. I expected five. Okay. That, that's valid input. I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I, I wanted to try something different, though. Um, I, I just wanted to switch um, the way we play. Um, given that the results were, re results were really bad recently. And given that I, I do not expect us to have any success with attacking, I went very defensive with, with the low block. I don't know, I'm not happy with the performance. That's fine. Yeah. It's called balanced. They rarely use it. That's it, the second leg will not be next match. Second leg will be after we face number one in the league. So how do you want me to deal with this? The turtles, this this is far from what how they play, is it? Controlled possession, yeah. Um Is this an away match too? No, we played them at home. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm um, uh, I'm okay. We'll, with this, we'll do positive, alright? Not attacking. We'll do positive. And after we conceded 15 goals, um, well, then we can probably think of something else. Um, the argument with the counter-attacking, though, that's a good idea. So, if we want to do counter-attacking, might as well do it in a narrow fashion, right? Is this also true for the high block? Maybe. Mm, yeah, well, goal difference, but then again, all goal difference is minus. Oh, yeah, well, it it is still of concern. One could say. So, don't know. There is no training whatsoever in between these matches, other than recovery, basically. It's a home game. Against Trohor DT. They are third in the league. And their recent performances have been... Okay, they won the match against Sabah after losing in 0-4 last time. So, I think Sabah play a controlled possession style though. If I recall correctly. Well, we don't know about that. Of course. That's better. So according to this, it was a pretty even match. Which one is which? I guess the left one is Chohor. So that means... Baba had more, po more possession overall? Is this the way it is? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure. So, they controlled possession against Chohor DT. Oh, I recall. Chohor play... Did they play in this um, kind of defensive... Wing play, it says. I'm not sure. Gotta wait for the report. But I think they played in some sort of shut up shut up shop system. So um they invited pressure a lot. They have a good uh, have good quality, so they score on the counter attack. But if you control possession against them and uh, basically restrict their time on the ball, you might stand a chance. Might. We do not play Chohor though. 
I don't know what I'm going on about. What the hell's wrong with my head? We played these. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Yeah, okay. So they play in a positive manner, though. When's Chohor? That's way odd. Target boy 2 is whom? Severoy? I mean, sure. We could. I'm not sure how to go about this. It might be needed as a mood in place anyway. Or we play the youngster or I don't know yet. Um it depends on the on the match load I think. Um if the heavy match load continues to be an issue until the match, then hmm. That makes sense. I I will go with this too. So full scouting report says they play a control possession style. Uh yeah. Well ahead of us in the league and in much better form. They play a 4-4-2. And looking at this, this is not horrible. That's alright too, but not fantastic. Let's have a look at the central defenders. That's better. Um, If this guy plays, then we might just stand a chance. It's not that impressive. What's going on with them? Oh. He's great. He's great. He's fine too. Um, so they have a few players that are really good. But some of this is trash. Well, it's not trash trash, but you know, they're not that good. So maybe by taking the ball away from them, we stand a chance. Defensively, they might be vulnerable. At least that's the idea. Just take him back, really. I'll sort it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll play him in the future, maybe. Otherwise, be annoyed by it, I don't care. Who knows, I might play him now. Yeah, no. Okay, um, training again. You know how it is. We need to get through this. That's it. I just got reminded that I need to run one of these things again, so uh, we will do that. Uh, BRB. The good part is, you only missed me praising everyone, so that's not a big issue. And that for milk. For milk. Does everyone, everyone get the same, by the way? Do we get, like, British ads in Germany or something? Or do they play ads at least according to um, whatever country you live in? That's 
Not that bad. Yeah, m most likely. Um, I have a question, Chernolid. Would you really want me to play Silverai? I I guess that's what you meant with Target Boy too. But there's also. Well, let's not think about Jafar. He will not play. There's this guy called Isha that cannot do any target for what thingies. And then Silver Eyes next. But I brought along the guy from Brunei to play because I want him to develop. He's under contract. Like the, the youth quad I don't think will. And this guy has good well, his personality is okay. Media handling is fine. I think there's a reasonable argument to be made that he might develop if we give him playing time. I'm not so sure about the youth players. Okay. That's great. So, um... I will continue his training like it is. But, um... I think in case it comes to it, we might include one of the under-21 players here. And that's the same for Caldas da Costa Lima, by the way. I'm willing to, to rotate him in, in case it comes to it. That's not the concept for next season. So, um, if I don't reconsider, you know how it is. Um, and if none of you um, have a problem with that, I want to try to, you know, face in some of the youth players um, next season. So, less low knees more under 21 players from time to time so that we generate value because we, we might save on the wages but it, it comes at the detriment of resale value of players because we give the playing title to somebody else and that doesn't make much sense to me so i want to place that in play more of the youth players and hopefully uh, <laughs> hopefully get to our targets anyway might not work though you know, going down is still a, very much a reality that is uh, possible. Uh, we might get fired in the end. Oh, welcome back, John. The, the ultimate target, the ultimate target is to continue playing and have fun. But... I will do something that I might have learned or not recently, um, I guess on the job or not on the job. Um, I will delegate this back to you. What would you consider is an appropriate target for uh, like the safe? The safe file, not the club. There might be distinct things. Uh, Yes, we have one scout. I will show you. No problem whatsoever. So first of all, I want to make you aware that our scouting department um, has no scouting range whatsoever because money's done. There's no money left here. Uh, the scout works full time too. Yes, the scout has two points of judging player ability and potential. His for his name is Chu Chu. Um, he's a former player of ours, and uh, he retired for, um, and now he's a scout. He does not want to uh, want to get paid. Um, so this is why we kept him and we fired the rest of the scouting department. Well, because if you do not have scouting range, due to no scouting budget, you might as well get rid of the staff, right? They're not needed anymore. Also, we lost a ton of uh, knowledge there. For what? We don't need any players right now. Nah, definitely not. They don't need to eat. And Chuchu Chuchu earned enough money. He invested it all in index funds and now he can live by that. Now, that's how it works. Don't tell me otherwise. He he lives on passive income. The internet told me that's a thing. Um also, um somebody somebody wanted to look at the uh, wanted me to look at the medical report. This is the medical report. So Aris doesn't play. Safri doesn't play. Mazarin returned from injury. Rosti returned from injury. Also apparently has low condition. 
I don't think we care about Amron, Christopher, Nizam we care about, and Mochalil. Only the day of the match. It's today, man. <laughs> so, I think that counts. If I understand correctly, I might misunderstand. So in that case, feel free to uh, tell me. Um, and the financials, um, that is a really easy one. The club just got injected with, uh, I don't know, 60k or something um, on money. So Sugar Daddy came over again. Um, but also this is weird. Where does this come from? Date receipts. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm rich. Or did you see this? We don't earn anything. Where does this come from? Gate receipts. Why? So, so this is cash injection, obviously, yes? And there too. This, this is not a sustainable way to manage a club. It, it might be if you're RB Leipzig or something, but uh, it is not if you're... N no. No. This, this is not the regular way it, uh, things are going. I have no idea how this happened. Look at this. We earned 30, 34k on gauge receipts this month. That's a third of the entire season. Do we get half of the of whatever we earn here? Is this a thing? There's one away fan. One one person traveled with the team, so that's me. Um, or I don't know somebody else. One person, I don't know, one of the players' wives, um, came into the stadium. So we do not get paid. This one person doesn't pay thirty five k. Did we get half of uh, of uh, of whatever the attendance was? Is this a thing? It must be the cup game, but then it must be about a distribution of the income in the cup games. So as a result, yes, we made some money in August from the games. Well, we, we did only play away games in August, so it must have been one of these. And given that in the league games, we don't, we only check shit in the league games. So it must be the cup game. We can do that, yes, um, at the end of the season. But we gotta be really selective with, with the entire scouting thing. Also, um, you know, um, there's, there's this one thing. So assuming we scout well, and then we find some really high quality players or whatever, some mediocre quality players with good potential, then we try to sign them, and then they want money that we don't have. So we might, <laughs> we might have wasted the money on the scouting. And like, I'm not opposed to the idea, I want some scouting network. If it comes to it worldwide, but uh, I think it's highly unlikely. And um, we're trying to we're trying to sign players, like where is it? Yes, I could, I would, but for a stepping stone, you need to be able to um, to propel their their career forward, and it does not seem like they feel that way about us. If that makes sense. I'm overly negative, sorry. Um, so I tried to sign players from other countries like Eritrea or Brunei or whatever this is pronounced like. Sao Tome and Principe. Might, might have been, it, it might be pronounced in a French way, I'm not sure. Uh, 
sometimes yes, but not even the Malaysian guys want to play here. So that's really hard. Um, that said, we do gain some reputation. So, like, there is a point to be had there, but Azam Mudim is not even on the bench. I'm not sure how we go about this. Let's see. So I'll throw all of this out. Um, we expect the opposition to play apparently with a 17-year-old, a 16-year-old that we know absolutely nothing about, except for he, play, he made one appearance so far. 6.9 rating. Are the others like this? Let's see. So I won't do a position instructions in this menu, otherwise it's stuck in here. Forever. That said, some of this is really concerning. Isn't it? Look at that passing. Yep. Yep. You are correct. So, jumping reach most likely is fine. That said, I do not expect him to have good positioning. He's really pacey too. Do we have stats on this guy? Yes, we do. He completed 83% of his passes. At 7 headers and won all of them, well, there's your argument. Anything else? Interceptions. Where's interceptions? Do 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 do. Should be somewhere in here. Oh, it's probably somewhere down here. Possession one per ninety minutes. Thirty-two times. What? That's a bit much, isn't it? E. Yep. Yep, that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is um, to gamble. Basically, uh, to, to go for 33% of one duels is fine too, as long as we do win some of them at all. But yes, better, well, better movement would be preferable. So, we play as a Moodin. And if it doesn't go well, in the end, we take out the crowbar. Crowbar is still block check still. Isha. What? Why the focus on the youngsters? Where's Isha? There. Uh, okay. So... We play Isha as a poacher. Play our attacking midfielder on support duty and uh, pray that he scores because, uh, well, if he gets to the ball, he might stand a chance in the back of the net. That's how it goes here. The loves Chris Kringle. Um, cool. You know what? I'll roll with this. Why not? Where is Isha? Oh, here. This is a weird concept and, uh, to, well, to be honest, I do not expect this to work. But at least it fucks up tech, uh, technic, uh, technical, tactical expectations for them. That's for sure. So, I'm okay with this. For now. So he'll play on support, I will do this later. Um, alright. Who's in goal? Let's have a look at the training ratings. So, Zakaria needs to play. No debate. Always. Captain's on the, on the pitch. <laughs> Call the pitch. Uh, how about Ankun versus Magmenemy? Ankun's on a 7.2, McManamy 7.5. Ankun's obviously the better player. Match loads medium. Yeah. We can still play him, I think. And McManamy, um, susceptible to injury and all. Uh, maybe we can give him play in time if everything goes well. 
I do not, not expect it to, uh, to though. What's the medical report here? Uh, well, not much to say. Hmm, okay. Elbow check still on the bench, we said. Central defense is interesting and goal is, goalkeeping is interesting. So, Mochalil... That's not horrible. Could have saved that one, though. On the other hand... He doesn't train well anymore. So we'll do it like this. And I do not expect anything from Mot Aris, despite his decent training performance. I don't think we'll play him prior to him retiring. Does he retire? Yes, he does. Okay, Carrier's banned. That will not happen. So Fakrula needs to play. Jeffrey needs to play. Same old story. That or we play Safri, so uh, yeah. Nothing to be said here. We might even leave Safri at home and bring a defensive midfielder, I don't know. Um, It's either Rosti or... <laughs> the recently uh, injured Mazarin. So Mazarin comes along on the bench, I think. And I guess Rosti will need to play. Short of fitness or not. Okay. Did we register him? I forgot about that. We might have registered him, so you, you might be in luck, Chernolid. Otherwise, the youth players can't play. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Um, let me let me wrap up the um the choice of personnel here. We'll do the uh, tactical instructions afterwards. So I still want to try Nizam. Even though the last match was a 6.4. What's the alternative? Padrul Hisham. Yeah, well. Might as well try him, but he's... I don't know. Well, on paper, at least, he's better. It says. I'm not sure if I should trust this. Uh, so. They play a 4-4-2. They play a 4-4-2 that most likely... Might have weaknesses in the middle, I don't know. In general, a 4 2 is vulnerable in the middle. So, I will go with this. He's in bad morale because we barely play him, so I might not need to do it now. Some retrains will, some replays. That could work. And on the right wing, it's either Hammer or Baru. Given Baru's recent performances, which is to say his last three matches, and Hammer's last matches, I do not know what to do here. Training rating on Hammer is decent there. We'll play him. Who do we need here? Can Rusty play central defender? No, he can't. Uh... I guess we need a defensive midfielder, don't we? There's no, there's nobody for our attacking midfield anyway. If we do not want to bring one of the youngsters. Uh, okay. And in here. RC is a different tactical option. Because he's a winger and not an inverted winger. Not sure if that's really valuable here. But... I do not have any loyalty towards the lone player, so we might as well bring our own, right? Carrier suspended, I don't need Amran, Azamudin doesn't need to come along. Is this the way it is? Sure. Let's do it like this. So, <laughs> we should go very defensive, by the way, so... In case anyone's wondering, if this doesn't go well, I blame it on you. Alright, what did we say? Him on support duty. And the crosses. This is rubbish. We'll go with low crosses, right? 
does make sense. I will also take off the cross towards target forward. Doesn't make sense. There's no target forward here. I might need to go away. I might need to put this back on at some point. Not now, though. And we do not cross towards a specific area. Um, I think maybe Modisha does find it. The ball. Q to get off the ball movement. Maybe not. Work ball into the box is still, I think, appropriate here. We want to get the ball and uh, have some possession. I also actually consider some time wasting here. Not sure. Ball distribution. Roll it out. I think we can live with that, right? He has a nice long kick and no passing skill whatsoever. Throwing is fine. Eight points of throwing. Uh, I don't know. We'll throw the ball. Throw it out. To wherever. Okay. Any other ideas? Last chance. We might try to go through the middle. Here. Or at least focus play through the middle. You know what? That does make sense to me. We'll focus play through the middle. Your position in the middle seems reasonable but not impressive. Impressive enough to make to be problematic for us, that's for sure. We'll go with this. Sure, he'll get a he wants number ten. You will have number twenty. We'll see. Maybe Isha scores. That would be great. I like Isha's in general. We had some very good experiences last season. With somebody named Isha. Uh, okay, he's apprehensive for yeah, obvious reasons. We'll go with revenge again. That didn't go well. Mm, neither does. I think nervous. It's just where we relax it, and apprehensive is where we encourage it. Is this the way it is? I should learn at some point. That said, this is a home match. So hopefully they are not that nervous overall. Whatever. Oh. Same problem as last time, you know, with the ad break thing. Here be. You missed the lineups. Here they are. Everybody's got it? Great. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. The carrier finds Samri. Nice. Ankun. Good pass. Straight through the middle. And as we can clearly see already, that's a very congested area through the middle. And it doesn't go well at first glance. This is what happens if we play positive football? Okay. Well, at least it might, uh, the match will be fun to watch, maybe. Okay, that's not a long throw, but I'll take it. Hmm. 
Modisha with his good off-the-ball movement. Oh, that's a nice penetrating pass by the youngster. I do not regret playing him just yet. Terranada might have had a point. Emphasis on might. That's dangerous. That's also dangerous. Can we intercept? Yes, we can. Unclunt's <laughs> header was well misplaced there. I I forgot about the position instructions, didn't I? Why does nobody tell me? Look at this. None. We might at least try to do some of them. So he runs with the ball often, he needs tries killer balls often and stuff. Also, he has a very weak left foot, uh, right foot, so we'll go with that. Um, I'm not sure what to do about him. This person's passing is bad. Not sure how to deal with it though. Really bad dribbling, really bad first touch. Bravery is okay-ish. But I think we can close him down and try to... Well, we we'll try to force him into misplacing some passes. Or into losing the ball, really. Muhammad is very tall, but we know nothing else about him, so... I don't know. This person has somewhat reasonable passing. I'd rather not mark his central defender tightly, though. Okay. He's also a reasonable passer, sadly. Anything here? He's a good finisher. And whilst we might need to close him down, we gotta be careful um, not to tackle him too hard. That's basically the same here. So closing down both of them though doesn't there's no difference if I instruct them and specifically to close them down. The only thing that will happen is uh, that the defensive line loses its shape all the time. They need to determine this by themselves. I don't know. Is positive really the way to go about things here? Looks like they have most of the possession for now. That said, we get some too. That's... Not through the middle, but we'll take it. Oh, nice summary. No. Oh. oh. Nice chances. So, for now, I guess we can agree that this is not bad. 13 minutes into the match, it's something. Nice ball by Zakaria. Hans Hammer out on the wing, there's another cross. This is this is floated, man. That's the wrong kind. We said to play low crosses, not floated crosses. Well done. I like the combination. Um, I also like the high tempo, by the way. This seems to work reasonably well so far. Maybe that's just what we need to do. Anku and Zakaria again. Zakaria skips past his man. Hammer. Still Hammer. So much for going through the middle. There's the low cross. 
It's not a penalty either. Well, it does create dangerous situations though for us. Well done, Mr. Mod Jalil. Any thoughts so far? We are. Oh, that was close. He won't get there. So apparently Muhammad is not that slow. Sadly. We could have hoped for it, but apparently it's not the case. That got intercepted though. Hummer. Okay. Interesting exchange of passes. Armor, um, that's not a low cross either. Well done. And this is not so well done. We do have 58% possession though. For what it's worth. Ankun, Nazarudin, Zakaria, Ankun again. Spreads play a little bit. Playing all the way through the middle comes with this weird added benefit of having additional space on the wings, it seems. All of a sudden. So, not sure what to make of that. Rusty... Mm. That's not a positive. Eighty-nine percent is fine. Possession's also... More on our side. We do create some small scale chances at least for now. And I do like the fact that we win the ball back sometimes. Somewhere. Like here. That's good. Doesn't say counter attack just yet. But the, the transition is, I would argue, fast enough to make a difference. And as you can see, they, they try to close down, but it seems like it's really tiresome for them. Or maybe I'm overinterpreting results, I don't know. That's really great. Oh. It was a finish, though. No, it's something. Don't let him shoot. He does shoot. We get lucky. Nordi. With the corner. We do defend well against Mohamed. Samri's out on his own on the right wing for now. Samri. That will probably result in a foul, won't it? Oh, that's even better. Hammer. Zakaria. And now we're back in possession phase, aren't we? Regular build-up play. Hammer. And we lose the ball. Well, shit. It went so well for about 30 seconds.
Oh, Rusty. That was dangerous. That was even worse, Sakari. <laughs> it's, it's not Sakari, yeah, it's Summary. But still, that was a really bad pass. Why would you do that? Sure, we said short passing, but not that short. Not straight into the feet of the opposition. That's not how we do it. It's not a corner. So far, it's pretty even. We have a little bit more possession on our side, so that's okay. And Mohamed heads it over the goal. It was a dangerous situation, but I think we're okay with it for now. This was the third corner they had. Well, and they had two in a row. So I don't think this is a regular thing just yet. These corners. Tsamri. Tsamri. Still Tsamri. Takes a shot himself. Not bad. Didn't expect that. Rusty with the corner. Like a real person. I don't know what Zakaria is the target there. I trust the assistant manager with this. Jeffrey's on the yellow now. Who's on the bench? Safri. Oh. Well, maybe that's just what we need Safri on the bench. Who knows? Don't let him, that's okay. <sighs> you think so? My Rusty is exhausted. There's a difference between Rusty and Rusty, by the way. Ru I think Rusty's on the bench. Yeah, Rusty's on the bench. <laughs> so. But sure, in the second half, we have Elbuk Jack still for us. Might be a good idea. And then we can try to unscrew this thing. Use the crowbar after all. I'm not sure why Rusty is so tired already. Did he run that much? Maybe. But no, now we need to use Mazarin. Mazarin is not even fully returned from injury just yet. On the other hand, half time might be the appropriate time to make the substitution Oh, Zakaria Okay, we got it Half time it is So According to expected goals, this is very even I like it no. Sure, we'll bring Mazarin. That will put some additional emphasis on the attack. He can probably remain on the pitch for a while at least. And Elbok Chastel comes on. Which means this can change and we will cross towards target forward again. Not sure about the low crosses in particular. That's that's still on for him. What do you you guys think about the quality of the crosses? So 
We noted your position. Oh, we know that they subbed somebody on. That's these players here. Let's have a look at that. So, whip crosses are really hard for our squad, so I think we'll go with maxed. I... This is weird, I never made whip crosses work. I have no idea how to do this. It's hard if possible for defenders to deal with them. So, we increase the likelihood of an accident? I don't know. I'm also not sure if we have the technical skill for that, to be honest. I think I'll stick to this. Great. I think I'm happy with this. I'll go with that. We've dominated possession. There's a positive. Be happy about it. Now I will tell those with a 6.6 rating or below that they need to do better. And I will ignore the rest, I think. Well... You two change the game. And the rest of them... Do whatever. Do your thing. Do I encourage them again? Not sure. Intercepted, he doesn't. Hopefully Mazarin's not a weak spot in this formation now. Anxious and lacking match fitness, yeah, sure. Well done, Samri. This, it's a foul, nice. Uh, Martin is on going way through, all the way through the middle. Not bad. Zamri's pass was fantastic. Sadly, it was intercepted, so it wasn't that fantastic. Could have been a penetrating pass we were looking for, though. This should be offside. Yep. That's dangerous. Works for now. Bakrula. Give it to Jeffrey, that's fine. Zakaria. Zamri. I think overall Zamri's performance to four, uh, to four today is okay. I'm happy with that. Also shows in the rating, by the way, but... Well, Mazarin's cross. Or was it a cross? Mazarin's pass. Well done, Zakaria. Nice play. Ahmad Nizam skips past his man. There is a cross. And... That goes outside. Monchalil is on a 7.1 rating today. What's going on there? That's not normal. Ankun Jeffrey? Take the shot, man. He doesn't. Come on, Nizam on the ball, all on his own. In fact, Ruela will probably give it back to the goalkeeper. Okay, they went more attacking if I see that correctly. Zamri. Ah! Oh! That, that was fine. Didn't expect that.
Don't give him a chance. He gets his chance. Mocha Lil's there to save the day. Nice play. I'll continue encouraging them. You can do this. Apparently that works for now. Not on Masrin and Elbuk Chakstel though. What's going on with him? Struggling to meet the pace of the match, okay. And he's, well, he's in lack of match fitness, that makes sense. Obviously that makes him nervous. Wow. Can we maybe get these guys out of our own penalty area, please? That would be great. Preferably not with a foul. Well done for now. Alright, we got it. I think they pushed a ton of the players forward now. So on one hand I want to keep the positive mentality, on the other hand I think we should defend this. Not sure how to go about things. We could also go even more attacking obviously. Elbuchuk still, Mazarin again. Back to Elbuchuk still. Huh. Could have taken a shot couldn't he? Uh, well, yes. They they increase the stakes basically by pushing more players forward and uh, taking more risks. That's okay. Don't lose the ball, Anko. Nazarudin. Nazarudin loses the ball. Elbuk chucks Dill. Nice one. Summary maybe run. Yeah, that ends up with summary. Not with Mazran there. They're looking for goals, it says. Anko, nice play. Double Chuck still. Oh. That's not bad. Anko, Jeff Bree. First goal! So apparently going positive was a good idea. Whose idea was that? It wasn't mine, that's for sure. I'm really happy with this. Legendary. Not yet, man. <laughs> but... <laughs> Hopefully you're right. I'll try praising them. This is a very positive result, given that this is number one in the league. I did not expect even a single point from this match. So, um, not to overly the pr praise the day before it ends. Um, yeah, Ankun's tired, so that makes sense. We also still have three subs. Well, three stoppages as well as three subs, so we might as well do them individually. Sure. Jeffrey scoring that goal is also really great. He's inspired. He needs the playing time anyway. Um, which brings me to the next point. We might need to rotate a little bit to bring on players that need some playing time here. And, um... You think we should start time wasting? Not yet, man. I'm waiting for the scene to end first. That's offside, isn't it? Yep. That's the end of the scene. 
We'll praise everyone, man. We can't. Um, the, the menu is enabled because I brought on McManamy. Um, I'm thinking about players, not tactics. Zakaria is exhausted. So that will make sense. So I, I think we'll bring on Rusty for Zakaria just because I do not expect Zakaria to be able to make it through the rest of the match. And uh, it, it's a similar argument for Nizam here. He's, he's on a 6.5 rating anyway. So we'll bring on Badrul Hisham. I'll leave the tactics as it is. Um. You can do this, guys. That's the last of our subs, by the way. But I think it was warranted in this situation. They have a lot of men forward, though. Well defended, Jeffrey. And now we can praise the team again. Cool! <laughs> Happy to hear that. Now we only need the three points. That's... Fine, this is very interesting to say the least. Samri. Well, we do have additional opportunities now. Given how many men they push forward. I'm not sure if this is attacking or very attacking on their behalf, but... Doesn't matter. He has good kicking, but really bad passing, so he might be able to get the range, but not exactly the precision. I'm not sure if retaining possession is not the better idea. Nice one! That was close. Really well played by McManamy. And it does seem like retaining possession is a good idea overall for us. Was it too late? No. Hammer skips past his man. Or doesn't. It's a corner though. So they do come back. There is one man forward it seems. Ten minutes to go. Mazarin seems to waste time. Instruction or no instruction? That doesn't work. Can you please pick it up? Free kick for them, doesn't matter. Six minutes to go. Waste some time now? No? Floated cross towards Hammer. Goalkeeper seems within an interesting mood. Rodrul Isham. He's fresh. From multiple perspective, actually. Rusty. McManamy. I would have been fine with just, ret just retaining possession, but uh, we'll take the corner instead. Five minutes. I'll do it. You might not like it, but I think this is reasonable. It's five minutes plus stoppage time to go. So, yeah. Take off every second that you can get. If we get one point out of this match in the end, it will still be a success. I hate to put it like that. Obviously, I want the three points. Preferably a second goal after a corner. Yeah! Fakula was offside. Okay. Another corner. That doesn't work either. Mazarin. Not this time.
One minute plus stoppage time. Summary, elbow check still. Armor. Come on, man. You could have run with it. Four minutes stoppage time. We still are well in control of the game. And that's... That could have been easy. For some reason, we absolutely dominate this match now. Not sure why that is. We only need a second goal. Oh, it's too late to praise him now. I will. I will do it after this scene. If there's no big negative coming up, every second counts, Jeffrey. That's not a big negative. It's a small negative. He didn't hit the target. Two minutes to go. Please intercept. Jeffrey intercepts. Elbow check still. We do retain possession for now. That's fine too. Armor. Bakrula. Wait, 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 wait. Summary. Doesn't make much sense to change it now. Armor. Now we can go very defensive. That's a. Uh, I think in this formation they are used to a defensive setup, not very defensive. On the other hand, who cares? It's for one and a half minutes, so we'll, we'll go with that. Let's take the three points. How does it feel to do remote management? <laughs> sure, know it. I probably would have gone with that uh, much earlier, I think. The retain possession more defensive and stuff. So I'm not sure if it is the right decision or just the right outcome here. I'm happy it goes that way so far. That's really bad. I missed this. Fine. Well done. Armor. I think the change change didn't happen yet, did it? McManamy. Rusty. Oh. Don't lose the ball like this, McManamy. That's great. Ten seconds to go. We got this. We've taken the foot of the gas a little, it says. <laughs> a little. <laughs> we'll take the three points. Oh, will we? Oh, yeah! Giant Slayers, they call us. And it's well deserved. Fantastic. No individual comments needed. I'm very happy with this. That uh, pushes up us up to 24 points. Sadly, Perak won too. But now Penang are in 13th. Uh, well, they are 13th now. So this is still okay. And um, distance is still 9 points. Um, I don't know. Um, so I'm somewhat fit, but I think I need to have dinner at this point. So I'll wrap it up, to be honest. Um, this is what I'm going for. Thanks for watching. See you next time, and we will find out about... Uh, you know, the next cup game tomorrow. See ya!